I'm Dr Steve McLeod. I'm a Principal Research Scientist with the New South Wales Department of Primary Industry. I'm running a project to look at the distribution abundance of kangaroos on, on a, up at a property level. The tool is to give landholders the chance to understand, even estimate, how many kangaroos they might have on their place at any one time. So what we do is use the broad scale aerial survey data which is conducted annually for the calculation of the commercial harvest and that data is very useful in calculating the quota. It's not so useful for individual landholders because there's lots of areas which are not surveyed and most properties aren't. So what we're doing is trying to estimate what the density is in between those areas that are surveyed to give, it, to give landholders a much better idea on how many kangaroos they might have. And we can do this by um, recording the location of every kangaroo that we see during the broad scale aerial surveys and relating that back to variables which might influence where kangaroos are. That would include uh, vegetation type and the quality of the vegetation, closeness to water, whether they're stock present or not, things like that. And since we know those things, because we've measured them and observed them, we relate those back to what's occurring on a property and using that information we can estimate the distribution in of kangaroos. And what we're doing now is doing some on-ground surveys on individual properties. We're doing five properties and using a drone and a thermal camera to measure the abundance and distribution of kangaroos on those properties. And what we'll do is test the statistical model that we developed with the broad scale aerial survey with these properties to see how close we can get. In theory it should work well. No one's done it before, that's why we're interested in doing this research and it's also going to be a very useful tool for landholders which have often wondered how many kangaroos they have. They, they don't have any reliable means of calculating them. So hopefully this will go a long way to helping them out. At any one property we might count eight areas and, and estimate the kangaroos and the density within those areas and there we, we specifically choose them based on different types of vegetation or topography or something like that. And then in one night we might spend uh, six hours counting kangaroos and we'll fly the drone, has a, as I said it has a thermal camera and we can measure the density of kangaroos very accurately and the thermal camera is excellent at picking them up. Kangaroos are very hard to count at other times of the uh, other times of the day, and we found the thermal camera to be an excellent tool to allow to be to get very accurate numbers quite relatively quickly. They can log on to a, a web page, look at their property. This is the idea of it: to look at their property at a particular time, and it will give them an estimate based on what the conditions are like at that time how many kangaroos they're likely to have and where they are likely to be in the environment on their property. And with, with that type of information, they'll be able to make decisions about uh, whether they need to uh, cull kangaroos or not, whether they need to look to get a commercial harvester or not. Is there an issue with the grazing pressure caused by kangaroos or not? And so it's just another tool in their total grazing pressure management toolbox.